Okay, now that the simulation all is done and you see this beautiful green n normal completion of the simulations in the uh, message center, uh, now you can go and check out how you got the results, if it's good or not, if the mesh was enough, and uh, and then get some information about the design that you have. So first thing to do is right click on the setup and go to the pro pro profile or convergence, doesn't matter, these are just different tabs uh, that is opened. Uh, so we'll go to, when you go to the profile, it will tell you that, for example, in my computer it took 1 minutes and 18 seconds in real time, and because it was like using almost two cores at the same time, the CPU time was 2 minutes and 14 minutes. So it depends on your computer and your computational system. You can basically get the same result pretty fast. Uh, when you go to the convergence, uh, it will tell you how the convergence went uh, based on the mesh initial settings that we gave. Um, it started with uh, 17,000 or almost 18,000 tetrahedral for the entire design and um, you know the energy, total energy and the delta energy was supposed to be below 0.2 percent as we defined here uh, but as you can see it was like 4.4 uh, and not even applicable for the delta energy and then it was not good enough so then it went to the second run of the uh, test and it becomes 0.6 percent and 2 percent and none of them were good and then it went down to 0.19 percent as it can show here which is good enough for our case but it was 0.3 percent for the delta energy which was not enough and therefore it went another pass and the pass four was basically the last pass and we got the results that we were looking for and look at the number of the the the, the <coughs> the mesh, the tetrahedral set, increased almost three times uh, during this process. Okay, I'm going to close this and uh, go toward our um, first thing that we are going to show you. Um, before I do anything else, I want to show you uh, the eddy current that was induced on the part. So I'm pr pressing O to select the object and then I select and unfortunately the region is on the way so I press B to select the part. Right click on that and go to the field and then on J I will magnitude of J and then I say on the all objects and plot on the surface only. I press OK and that's uh, basically the eddy current that we get because of this coil on top of it. Okay, so you can see that the eddy current has some peaks around here, and uh, you know um, this will create some very not very nice uh, magnetic field. So uh, let's see what would be the magnetic field that is going to be created by this eddy current, and check it out. Um, so one thing you want to do is you want to create a line that you, on this line you you want to see the magnetic field. Okay, so I press the line. Uh, it says that it's going to be non-model object. That's totally fine with me because I want to keep my results. Um, as you know, you can put numbers. You can put numbers to put the line exactly in the middle of the box that we just created. But um, to show you one easy way to do that is basically you bring the um, the mouse around the, at the center of the, the box. If you see a circle, that means it's in the center of a face. If you see a rectangle uh, snap, uh, shape that means it's in the in the center of a line so I'm gonna go with a circle and I want to select that point and I want to go again for another circle here right there and I want to click and then right click and say done that's my line and I'm gonna call it this is the line for B I want to show my B on this line awesome um, right click on the uh, field overview and go and select the calculator. Now I'm going to go and select the B as an input and then I want to go to the vector and select the Z. I'm interested only to the Z uh, unit of the B. Uh, I want to see what B, uh, what is the B value when it goes up. Okay. Then I want to go to the complex and say I want to see the real part of that and I want to make sure that it is smooth enough to be able to plot it nicely. So that would be BZ in real part. Awesome. Saved. Again, I want to go to the quantity B, the scalar, Z, complex, imaginary, smooth. And this time I want to call it BZ imaginary. Okay. And I'm done with this. Pressing OK and get rid of everything. Okay. Control D to give me the best uh, view. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and right click on result 
and then I say create field report and then I will say uh, rectangular plot and then when I select that uh, on the geometry I will select line B that's the line that I want to go over it and see the calculated B at in the Z and then calculation the calculator uh, expression I want to select B Z real and also the imaginary and I want to make sure that I'm putting it on top of each other so add trace nice well pretty nice actually you can see that um, where the first uh, so we have a lot of B created in the middle of that in 20 millimeters and then you can see some like uh, jumpiness around here uh, in the imaginary also you can see that uh, for the eddy current we have around a, a, every uh, edges of the of the of the of the holes we have extra B extra B and basically that shows that uh, how will be the effect of eddy current uh, in creating unintentional magnetic field okay so this is pretty good I can uh, show you um, side by side the device so you can actually see what I'm talking about here you can see that it starts from here and goes and end from here and you can see as soon as it uh, it goes from this two parts for example we have two pick and and uh, we have a lot of B around in the 20 millimeters around here and that would be because of the um, because of the coil that we have actually and uh, you know this is this is this is what you are looking for and I think it's it's good enough how do you yes um, let me just go ahead and make sure that I can make this one as big as enough okay so that's good so this is basically uh, showing you how to uh, work with this um, I want I want to just uh, take a moment and also show you the the eddy current that you can see let me just do this um, and the eddy current that you can see as a vector uh, again is very simple you just select the part and then you go to the field to the J and then you say vector and now here all the stuff that you see as a vector that is presenting here is basically the, the eddy current do I want to show it on the surface or do I want it to be um, I can actually make it to be um, only on the surface is actually a bit better so I will select it like this oh my god so that's how it looks because you already came with like um, the magnitude it, it gets give you the best fit for the magnitude but uh, unfortunately it uses the same um, uh, you know uh, a scale for the vector as well so it doesn't look very nice um, you can uh, you can modify the plot and sorry you have to modify the general part as I, I told you um, and you can make it like a bit better looking by just uh, you know making this uh, this guy's a bit smaller and you know play with that but anyway so uh, you can see that it actually shows you how this uh, one thing that I actually realize is cool to do is to uh, delete all those things and go ahead and start from the beginning and this time go with the vector and it gives you the best uh, fit it's it's way better looking although it's not that much different but still um, so you know you can you can play with that and you can see that basically this is the eddy current that has been uh, induced um, maybe I have to make the size a bit smaller so you can see better and also maybe you want to have more number like less distance between the sorry this is the size and also you want to make sure that the spacing is not that much so this gives you a bit better representation of the field um, 
and uh, last thing you can do is you can say that do not map the size and in that case you can actually make it a bit smaller and you can see uh, a better view of what you have here okay so yes I hope that you like this tutorial and if you had any questions please uh, put it into the comment section and I will be able to answer all the questions that you have in the uh, in the meanwhile if you have a design that you want help um, I can do some help just send it to my email at comerk2002 at gmail.com you can find the email in the intro uh, video that I put in the in in the, in, in the introduction uh, of the channel at the end of that you can find the, the email as well and send me your design and I will take a look at it and uh, I can see if I can do the best help um, thank you very much for watching and